Good morning, Ateneo de Manila Junior High School. We are your Sango JHS officers for the school year 2020 to 2021, a year which promises to be unlike any other. We hope you're all staying safe, fit, and healthy in these difficult times and spending quality time with your loved ones. Like you, we all miss our classmates, teachers, staff, guards, and maintenance personnel. And we are sad that the school we choose cannot be visited at this time. While the school may be physically closed, we know that it is virtually open. And most definitely, learning will go on through the power of technology. With that, we would like to give you a tour of our main tools for communicating and learning next school year. Your OBF account and its many Google Apps. Now, you may be wondering, what is an OBF account? OBF, as you know, stands for our famous school mantra of One Big Five. It will be the name of our own personal Google accounts for Ateneo. These Google accounts are specially equipped with safety features that restrict outside access to ensure a safe and conducive learning environment for all of us. To our grade 7 brothers entering the JHS, you will get access to your OBF account after receiving the temporary password from the ITR remote. Once logged in, be sure to change the temporary password immediately. My tip, keep the new password strong but memorable. You may use your OBF account to send emails to your classmates and teachers. Students' email addresses end in obf.ateneo.edu while teacher email addresses end with ateneo.edu. Finally, remember to make it a habit to always check your OBF accounts regularly as official school announcements will always be sent to your OBF accounts. Like any Google account, your OBF account is more than just for emails. Each OBF account has free access to G Suite for education. Free access? Isn't that G Suite? G Suite is a collection of Google apps that will help us plan, organize, and perform school tasks more efficiently. We will walk you through the important apps one by one. First, we have Google Chat. This is an instant messaging app that you can use to communicate with your teachers, and classmates. While online learning allows us to talk to our teachers outside of official class meetings, please have the courtesy to message them only at their allotted consultation periods. Next, we have Google Meet. This is a video calling app that will be used to virtually meet with your classmates and teachers. Even during video calls, always observe proper behavior. Unless allowed to talk by your teachers, keep your microphone on mute as to minimize distractions from outside noise. Next, we have Google Calendar, which you can use to plan out your daily schedule. Here, you will see if you have any classes or meetings that you will have to attend. It will notify you 10 minutes within your meeting. You can also use this to schedule consultation sessions with your teachers at the appropriate time. Of course, just be sure to let them know before you schedule one. Next is a trio of apps, Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. These are similar to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint respectively. In these apps, you may easily invite your classmates to work together over a project. All you have to do is click the share button on the top right corner and share the link with your groupmates. When you are done working on your project, you'll find them stored in an app called Google Drive. This will be your online USB where you can safely store and access school files from any computer or smartphone. It is advisable that you always keep a copy of your school files in Google Drive so that whatever happens, at least you'll know you're safe. Finally, we have Google Classroom, which is our main LMS or learning management system. This is where all materials, assignments, tests, and announcements will be posted by your teachers. You will have one Google Classroom for each subject. To join your Google Classroom, input the code given by your teacher. Once inside, you will land on the mainstream page this is where you will see all your teacher's posts where you can write comments in. The left side of your stream shows the upcoming requirements to help you keep track of them. Further up are tabs on classwork and people. Under people, you will see a list of all your classmates and your teacher. Under classwork, you can see all the subject's topics along with their respective materials and requirements. This icon stands for assignments, this icon for materials, and this icon for questions or polls. In each assignment, you will be given a detailed set of instructions per teacher. Read and understand these thoroughly, and always take note of the deadline indicated. When you are ready to submit something, click Add or Create. 
Once your file is uploaded, click Turn in to submit your assignment. You're free to revise and resubmit your assignment before the given deadline. Your teacher will then check your submissions and return them back to you after some time. You may receive a notification about your grade through email or by visiting the page of the assignment. So there you go. We hope you now have a better idea of what you can do with your OBF account and its Google Apps. For any further clarifications, please do not hesitate to ask any of your teachers or email the JHS IT Services at itso.ajhs at ateneo.edu. With that, we wish you a safe, fun, and fruitful school year ahead. One big fight! fight.